Hey guys, I'm Jasmine and today I'm bringing you guys a native body wash review. I've been using these body washes over the course of the past two and a half, three years and I wanted to share with you guys my experience of using them as well as if they're worth the buy. Now if you're new here, I do a variety of hygiene hauls, hygiene reviews, where I review products for 24 hours, one week, one month, and sometimes even one year or sometimes longer than that. Yeah, today I wanted to share with you guys some thoughts. If you guys want any of the products mentioned in this video they will be linked in the description box down below currently i have four native body washes with me right now some of them are almost empty i've used all of these except for one multiple times so first thing to mention is that these body washes are sulfate free paraben free dye free and fulfillate free Whatever that means, I will say this is probably the most expensive body wash I've ever paid for. Before, I think the highest price of a body wash I ever spent money on was about eight bucks, but... I don't know. The main reason why I actually ended up starting to buy Native Body Wash was because I was having an allergic reaction to another body wash that I was using. The allergic reaction was pretty bad so I ended up switching and then I was like well maybe I should try something that's more on the natural side it doesn't have the extra extra chemicals in it so I decided to go with native and ever since then I've been hooked I haven't had any allergic reactions with any of the scents that I've used so far the first one I used was the coconut vanilla one I honestly used this scent for about a year I just kept rebuying it rebuying it rebuying it and I didn't have any issues with this now originally the thing that kind of got me into wanting to try these was the fact that I tried the native deodorant I did the regular roll-on one and then I also tried a native deodorant spray and then recently I also tried another native deodorant spray which y'all should check out that review because I absolutely love that one but anyways the coconut vanilla scent was not bad at all to me the scent is not that strong Strong. It's more on the lighter side, so if you are a person that has like a more sensitive nose, you would probably like this one. Then I tried the lilac and white tea one, which I really like this one. The scent is present, it's definitely there, but it gives me more feminine vibe. I did really like this one. Then I tried the sweet peach and nectar, and to me, I really like this, but this also kind of makes me want to eat nectarines or peaches. But yeah, it, it smells pretty good. But recently, I actually did a video on the sea salt and cedar one. And this is the one I've been using the past month. And yeah, I actually really like this one. If y'all want, y'all could check out my review of that deodorant over there. Now, to my knowledge, you can get the native body washes at Walmart, Target, Amazon. But with Amazon, I think they only come in two packs. You can't get them separately or separately singularly I should say and then I want to say I saw them in CVS as well I know that Target tends to have deals on them where you can like buy a certain amount and then get like a gift card or they'll take some percentage off Walmart also does the same from time to time as well now if I had to rank them from least scent that I like to my most favorite scent I would do the coconut vanilla one this is the one like again it's really simple but it does not really do too much but yeah if you don't want the extra scents this would probably be the simplest one to go for the two that i highly recommend i would get the lilac and white tea one then i would probably do the sweet peach and nectar just because it makes me hungry and above all, I will get the sea salt and cedar one. However, I do have to mention that with this one it's more of a masculine scent so if you don't mind masculine scents, then you'll probably like this one. If you don't particularly care for masculine scents, I probably would not recommend getting this one and just stick with the lilac and white tea one. But overall, these body washes are a must-have, especially if you want to chill out on using uh, body washes with chemicals in them. They do a great job of like keeping you clean and 
yeah, like I said, I haven't had any allergic reaction to them, so that's why I really appreciate them. But let me know if you guys have ever used any of the Native Body Washes. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have used any other natural body wash before because, I don't know, I like trying different products myself. I'm not gonna hold you. I can be easily influenced. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Make sure you guys check out my other hygiene reviews and hauls. Check out that playlist. I'll leave a link up in the cards or in the description box down below. If you guys want to buy any of the items, they will be linked in the description box. But I'll be seeing you guys again soon, so stay blessed, stay positive. Bye.